How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are familiar with me by now. It's your boy Scarcious. I'm back. We're going straight into the Ultra League. Diving straight in there. Matched up with a Swampert. We love this. We love this. Yep, we run straight away. <laughs> Again with Cress as per usual. He runs into an Articuno. And we come with our Talon Flame. And we hope they ain't got Ancient. They don't, they use Icy instead. And we're gonna keep burning away. Heating up. As Talon Flame does. Talonflame has been turning into an MVP these days, you know. We're going to show you why. Let's heat up. we we'll get a shield. Two shields at that. They're down two shields real early. That's a bit dangerous. you got a Swampert chilling in the back. Are they really sure they want to be two shields down right now? But we're heating up. This will be taking out the Articuno. Comes in Swampert, as I expected. Let's us get to a move for some reason. Maybe they just want to stack up on energy. Because they know they're going to have to face off with Cresselia sooner or later. Silent Flame's job's done. In comes Chris, they run of course. And we swap. And this is just looking like a real early GG, huh? <laughs> you know the vibes. So we're gonna spam off weather balls. We're farming up most likely for Brave Bird. They decide to bait, but I really don't see why. The rule is going to end sooner or later. The inevitable, as I usually say. There, down goes the telephone. In comes the swamper. Get some chip. So we'll give some more chip. I mean, if you don't run into Cresselia, you run into Politoed, you can put up a good fight. Put up a good fight against Swampert. Take down the Swampert. And that's a GG. Nice battle. Let's move on to the next one. I love running into Swampert. My team's always happy to see him. Moving on. Okay, let's see how this one goes. Will you decide to go straight for the Shadow Ball? Or do you want to bait? With a Seed Bomb. We're going to throw our move first. Does some decent damage. And it is the Shadow Ball. But they also do some decent damage. More than some decent damage, to be fair. Let's get another move just to do a little bit of chip. He won't do too much. But little chip is better than no chip, right? It could be crucial. We get the shield. <laughs> That's where I say it could be crucial, huh? Come with the Talon Fame burn down a little bit. Are they going to bait or are they going to go for the Shadow Ball? And go for... The seed bomb, which is a bait which we did not fall for. Okay, so they decide to swap out. So we swap. Polytoad can get off a couple of weather balls. They can decide when they want to shield, which they will have to at some point. We 
sure that rightfully so. We can get to another move on a little bit of farm. Down goes their telephone. I'm sure the seed bomb. Get off the weather ball, we weren't likely ever going to get to the blizzard. Do a little bit of chip. I don't think that did take him down. I think he swapped out with about one or two HP. Comes with his pigeon. And now we go for the blizzard. What? What? <laughs> Look at that damage and then we swap out. They go for their brave bird. Talonflame survives just barely. Take out the pigeon. And that's a GG. Good battle there. Nice play. And we're going to be moving swiftly on to the next one. Alright, we come across a Scrafty. gonna farm up and see how they want to play this do they want to run do they want to throw the move and run do they want to stay in let's see how it goes if they stay in they're gonna be taking a lot of damage more damage than they're gonna be giving us and decide to run so we swap into our polytoad because they're into their talent flame and we'll be outpacing them to the moves They go for the Brave Bird. Doesn't do too much damage, hasn't been charged up. And now we can go for our moves comfortably. Let's do a lot of damage because they've used the Brave Bird. Nice. Look at that damage from the Weather Ball. And we let off another Weather Ball before they can decide to get to another move to avoid us having to use any sort of shields. And down goes their time frame. Come back in with their Scrafty. We'll throw our weather ball to get a little bit of chip before we go down. They ran from Crest, but they're going to run back into Crest eventually. Like, yo, we meet again. <laughs> we didn't throw straight away because we knew there could have been a possibility that they run and try to catch it on something else. So we want to make sure it lands. So we're going to play and see what they do. We throw it, and they're still in. So they're going to have to decide if they want to shield or if they want to take some damage. They decide to shield. And they run. And they do catch this one. They do catch this one. But that's fair enough. We'll go straight into Teleframe and burn down the Squamory. I mean... We keep trying to catch, but once again, as I do say, the inevitable will happen. So, gonna go charge up and you know, heat up because Talon Flame loves getting heated. So, the flame charge will be charging up the heat. And I don't think Skarmory will appreciate that much, too much. Skarmory goes down. We come back in with the Scrafty. I mean, if we can get to a Brave Bird here, you're already nice. Murder she wrote. <laughs> and we get there. So... You know what time it is. See ya. Another good battle. G 
GG, man. Come on, I've been telling you. Tana Flame be looking like the MVP these days. All right, Jettison. Pokemon I don't really like seeing too much. You have to see if they're running Bubble Beam or Ice Beam. But we'll just be throwing Grass Nuts regardless. Can they do some decent damage? I was wary of them trying to catch, but they stayed in there, or they couldn't get out. And we threw in good timing. What do they want to go for here? We'll go straight for that Shadow Ball. They want to get us out of the way. They do. Chris goes down, we come back in with Politoid. Gonna do whatever little ship we can do before we go down. So, into the Drapion. They most likely will be going for crunches back to back. Don't get the defense drop on us. They might be scared that we're going to use Earthquake. They don't fall for it. So we just go for the Weather Ball spam. Drapion can also do its own spamming. Gets the defense drop on us. We swap out to clear that. What move they're gonna go for here? We keep going for that crunch. I don't get the defense drop that time. Hopefully we can farm it before it gets to another move. We're gonna take it out before it does. Are they sure they want to be doing this? I mean, we'll just heat up, as I usually say. Heat up, charge up. Turn of flame doesn't mind. Everything's just going to be getting hotter and hotter. So right now it's ice versus fire. What's going to win? What do we decide to do here? We do decide to shield. So it's gonna get even hotter in here. Oof, and it's not looking too great in there for them. It's turning to a sauna in here, god damn. Let's go, man. Oh, and the shielding. Okay. Politoid can clean up. GG. Once again, the inevitable. That's a good one. Nice battle. Let's move on swiftly. Molsey. Step up, sir. We meet another swamp on the lead, yeah? I like this. You know I love this. It's always a thing of when do you want to run Swamp Out? When do you feel like running? There you go. <laughs> oh, it's, just, it's literally just the same. It's just, it's the same play. Your Swamp Out goes running, you come in with your talent flame and I come in my poly toad. Jeez. 
We say they're not forever, bro, but we're still doing some nice damage on Talon Flame. Let's go. They decide to shield. Hmm, we felt brave on that one. We didn't fall for that. We're not falling for your baits, and we caught it well. Good shield. Talon Flame. It's a thing of. Do you want to go down now? Or do you want to shield and go down later? There was no point. Down goes their Talon Flame. They come back in with their Swampert. Has he reached to an earthquake, or is he going for Hydros here? He's going for Hydros, which is resisted. Back to back Hydros from the Swampert. Politoed barely survives, gets off another Weather Ball. Get some chip before we go down. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Swamper, you can run, but you can't hide. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Breeding goes for the crunch. Gets a defense drop. Turn the flames charging up once again. Just look at Talon Flame's wings. Look at the way they flap. Look at the way they flap when she's charging up. I think she's angry. Is she either angry or she's just getting heated? Sure, this. I need to get the greedent out of the way. So that Swamp her. And Griselia can have a little meeting. They should. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not sure why they swapped though, but hey. Swampert, have some grass. <laughs> oh my god. Griselia. Finish off Talon Flame's work. And ladies and gentlemen, this was the last battle. Thank you for coming by. We'll see you again. Take care.